that says so much. I'm always interested when there's somebody that like w- when the experience or the end result is so bad or traumatic that the that a person that put so much work into it is willing to like say I had nothing to like just strike this from the record, please. <laughs> Your first credit, according to INDV, was Food for the Gods 2 in 1989. And I thought it was interesting. I noticed you were credited as E. Kim Brewster. And we were wondering if there was a story behind that. I read something about a writer strike having to do with it or something. It wasn't really the writer strike unless you could consider me in, as an individual going on strike against the production. My turn strike. First of all, according, according to the, I think the U.S. and Canada release of the movie, it was Gnaw, G N A W, Food of the Gods, Part Two. Um, and as a fan of uh, Ida Lupino prison films from the fifties, uh, and Food of the Gods One was her last film. Uh, you know, I, I hope she didn't turn in her grave too too many times over the release of this film. Um, I wrote what I thought was a uh, very uh, fascinating and strange and somewhat comedic uh, 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 sequel. And uh, that was a problem for the studio, which happened to be Carol Co. Pictures. And... Uh, you know, the whole thing started to get rewritten. And so I fled Toronto for Cleveland so I could be close enough, but <laughs> but far enough away to be called back. And um, the, the the story behind my getting to your question, which I sh- I'm veering off too much. Um, e. Kim Brewster, which, by the way, my credit in the movie should have been E. Kim Brewster star Mike Werb rats backwards. Um, it's about giant rats attacking a college campus. I am proud of the climax of that film, which somehow we convinced the uh, uh, Olympic Canadian Olympic synchronized swimming team to uh, be opening the pool complex at the climax. And then the rats get uh, swim in from the drainage system and take them all down with a, a, awesome. uh, uh, an wow. eddy of bloodshed. Um, it's pretty Whoa. weak. <laughs> overall the movie's quite bad but whatever you learn that says so much i'm always interested when there's somebody that like w- when the experience or the end result is so bad or traumatic that the that a person that put so much work into it is willing to like say i had nothing to like just strike this from the record please <laughs> well this this is how uh, poor the poorly the movie turned out because Burt Gordon, who directed and I think wrote Attack of the Fifty Foot Woman and di- wrote and directed the first film. The, the actually forget Ida Lupino. H. G. H. G. Wells is the one who's turning <laughs> over in his grave. Um, uh, uh, when I took my pseudonym pseudonymous credit, uh, so did so did uh, uh, Burt Gordon. Wow. wow. So he he also has a different a pen name in there. He's anonymous too. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna use your verbiage though for next time I quit a job. I'm just gonna say we we sh- we went on strike. Just no one came along with me. There you go. <laughs> Jerry Maguire just without the girl coming out. Mm-hmm.